Okay, so now after the, the presentation of Roma, I, I want just to spend uh, 10 minutes to show you what we have done uh, on the COG. So what I will show you is just, uh, so if you remember what uh, Roma present, so you have the customer that ask for an insurance and the broker look at all the possible product on the market and come back with the best price to the customer. And after the customer will send uh, a paper to the third party to subscribe the, the policy. So what I will show you is how uh, the customer will subscribe through uh, COG. So it's not the subscriber, the customer that will subscribe, but um, how um, a user of COG application on the third party administrator will, will take the paper and will, uh, will enter the contract and start billing uh, the contract, the contract. So since uh, four months, we try to uh, use uh, Sao, um, Sao, so it's a web client. So I uh, will uh, show you the presentation with, uh, with Sao, okay. so the web client. Okay, so that is Sao. Uh, so that is uh, our application, and we have an entry point uh, in contract that will allow us to uh, to start a new new subscription. Okay, so the first step when we start a subscription is to to select which um, which product we want to to subscribe. So let's say that we will subscribe a, a product the first of November. And uh, the product I want to, to subscribe is uh, an hospitalization product. That means you receive some money when you are uh, at the hospital. Uh, each day you, you are in the, at the hospital. So the short result is just to be able to find the right process. So when I will uh, click on the continue, uh, start process, uh, Cog will calculate what is the process for this product for this user at this time, okay? So because um, we face, um, we have different insurers, they all have their own process. When you receive a paper, it's not the same process than when you subscribe the contract through internet. Uh, sometimes you just have uh, one step, which is uh, verify the information entered by the customer. And when you have a paper, you have to fill the information. So could we calculate uh, what is uh, the right process, and we'll uh, okay, and we'll automatically calculate the step. So here we can see there are one step which is subscriber. So who is a subscriber? Who is who are the insured? Who are the coverages subscribed as the co the, the subscriber? How we will bill it? who is the broker that brings the, the, the contract. And at the end, uh, we will validate the contract and generate the um, documentation, okay? So these steps are calculated through uh, our workflow, uh, workflow module, workflow configuration. So I will enter, I will select uh, a person, for example, uh, this one. So I, I quick, we quickly show uh, what are the his information. So after we define who, who are insured on, under the, the contract, so could be the person, his wife, his, his children. After we select uh, which coverages, so we could have some optional coverages. So in this uh, product, we have only uh, two coverages, which is hospitalization. So here we have, um, so in our factory um, factory module, we are able to to define um, some some data that are required uh, to to subscribe the, the the contract. So here we can see that uh, I can select which amount I want to receive uh, per day um, when I'm at the hospital. So let's say you subscribe uh, 60, uh, 60 euros, uh, and we have another, uh, another short coverage, which is assistance. 
after we can um, select who is uh, the person who brings uh, the broker who brings um, the contract the cop and go broker so here we have the agent which is a commission commission plan so how we will uh, commission this uh, this broker after we have the billing information so how this person will be uh, billed so it can be billed uh, monthly through direct bill or by check uh, and we can define at uh, which date so the 5 the 10 the 12 so this is configurable through the application also Sorry? Is this the right? Yeah. Is it part of your view or is it something new you developed? No, it's something we we developed, yes, it's a module called process. So where we you are able to define what are the steps? So what are the transitions between the steps? Who has the right to do the step? And according to that, Cog will calculate which button you can uh, we we have to display and uh, which step you have to do after uh, after one step. No, it's not Python workflow. So it's 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 near Python workflow because um, the step is uh, stored on the object, so it's stored on the contract. So we know that the contract is at the step of uh, billing, but it's not uh, hard coded in the on the contract object. So it's defined by uh, by configuration. So that that allows uh, insurer to define their TPA to define their own uh, process and to be flexible. And we can also uh, select on which, um, on which uh, account I will be billed. So invoices is just a step to show what will be my, uh, my premium, okay? So it will be uh, $39. Uh, and I can uh, double click to, to show the, the detail Okay, so what you have to know is that it's uh, now, once I will uh, activate the contract, automatically through batch during night, uh, Cog will generate uh, invoices each month and will uh, generate SEPA, uh, SEPA file to be sent to the, to the bank and automatically uh, direct bill the, the customers. So last step is just uh, validating the contract. I'm fine with this contract, so I can activate it. And uh, print the policy certificate. So this is uh, something you have to send to your customer. Uh, so we use uh, the Triton uh, module that allows us to define uh, a template and to, uh, to print uh, a paper to, uh, and to send it to the customer. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm done with the presentation. So really, it was just uh, to show you quickly uh, an example of uh, our use of uh, Triton, and also show you um, that we can use so. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, is there any questions? Uh, this cool uh, web client, is it something from you or is it uh, uh, no, no, Triton web it's, client? Yeah, it's something. Ah, okay, I didn't know that before. Thank so, you. So what we have done is just customize um, the team. Uh, yeah. The team? The, the, the is it CSS? Sorry? You're using CSS to yeah. customize? Yeah. And so you, is it easy? Uh, you have to ask uh, to Ali. Uh, do you have customized also the Hitika client? client? So, sorry? The Hitika client? Or you are only using? Ah, yeah, no, uh, yes, we customize some part of the GTK client also. And there is some use are specific also that we use, uh, we implement in the web client also. Okay. So you can find the what we have done on the SAO web client on our uh, Git, uh, on our Git uh, repository. So it's, uh, it's open and you can uh, see the team and uh, everything.
Any other questions? What is your, uh, what is your experience with SAO in, uh, in, in real practice? So really for now, we, uh, so it's three months ago, we, uh, we start to use it. So first we have to, uh, to, to do the PAME. We have to implement uh, some uh, features we have in the JTK client. And right now we start to make some demo with it. But for now it's not in, uh, in production. And really, uh, I don't know if, we will, uh, if um, uh, people that will use it every day will uh, prefer to use uh, the web client or the JTK is, is better, we think, because you have a shortcut, you have a... So I think it will, it will be more used by uh, some people that go to the application once a week or... But at least it's... Uh, yeah. so. so we can all applause. Uh, Frédéric, 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 sorry.